Hey everyone, Terry here. Wanted to go through and discuss some things related to the idea of VXLAN. Now, I gave you guys a very detailed, long set of videos on the concepts associated behind Flood and Learn. And what I would really like to do right now is I want to be able to talk about the idea of MPBGP and the use of the EVPN address family, a layer two address family that's going to allow me to be able to create an actual control plane that's going to be functioning as part of VXLAN. Now, in this particular walkthrough, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on a layer to VNI. Now, that basically just means that what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create an environment whereby two resources are going to become layer two adjacent, one to the other, and we're going to actually build this from the ground up. Now, what we're going to find when we take a look at what's going on is I'm actually going to build this infrastructure in some tiers. In fact, what we'll find is, is we're actually going to have a total of three tiers. Now, the very first tier is going to be the creation of what I'm going to refer to as my underlay. Now, the underlay is going to be the resources inside of my infrastructure that's going to allow me to be able to provide all of the control plane resources. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write in here control plane. And that's going to be everything that I'm going to need to obtain reachability between all of these devices that I have in my lab. Now, the ultimate goal here is this is going to be to take the IP address of 10.1.10.1 slash 24 and allow that device to talk to 10.1 dot 10 dot 2 slash 24 and what we're going to find here is is they're going to be isolated via this ip enabled infrastructure that we're going to be running between our resources there's going to be a lot of commonality there's going to be a lot of common ground with what we're doing here and what we did inside the confines of the aci now i said i was going to build this in layers or tiers now the next layer is going to be my overlay now, my overlay is going to, again, be another mechanism by which I'm going to allow devices to be able to communicate one to another. But the overlay also is going to require its own control plane constructs. Now, when we look at this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using routing protocols down here in the primary, in the underlay control plane. And they're going to include things like OSPF and the advertising of information between resources. We're also going to embrace the idea of some logical interfaces that we're going to be working with. In fact, we're going to use different logical interfaces at different layers in this approach. Now, once I've got my control plane implementation done, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move up into what we would refer to as my overlay, but that's going to be my data plane overlay. So I'm going to come up here and say, this is going to be my data plane overlay. So we keep in mind that when we start looking at doing this inside of EPN, there's going to be some things that we're going to do. And the main thing that we're going to keep in mind here is, is the MP, BGP, Layer 2 VPN, EVPN is going to be what we're going to be using for this control plane infrastructure that's going to drive the overlay that we want to use to be able to send data back and forth. And like I said, we're going to use a number of interfaces. And the first set of interfaces are going to be down here. I'm going to use a series of loopback zero interfaces, LO0. And then what I'll do is I'm going to use LO0 here. And then secondary to that, what I'm going to do is in the overlay control plane, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use another set of interfaces, which are going to be called LO77. LO77 and LO77. Now, I just arbitrarily picked LO77. Um, it's going to be the loopback number that I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this loopback interface for the purposes of obtaining my BGP peerings. Now, when I'm talking about BGP, I'm talking about my layer 2 VPN peerings. So I'm going to peer between LEAF 101, LEAF 201, and LEAF 102. So when we look at that, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this for the purposes of constructing that control plane communication using the EVPN address family. Now, once that's done, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up into the data plane. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a special logical interface, which is going to be called our NVE, or Network Virtualized or Virtualization or Network Virtual Edge Interface. In fact, I'll create one over here on LEAF 101, and I'm also going to create one on LEAF 102. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use this for the purposes of exchanging the data plane information. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be building a bidirectional VXLAN tunnel between these two logical endpoints. And when I do this, I'm also going to use another interface. I'm going to use Loopback 100 on each of these devices for that purpose. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to build this step by step as we move up from the underlay control plane to the overlay control plane, and then ultimately to the overlay data plane. Now, I wanted to be able to approach this in an organized fashion. And also, I want to take into account the fact that we are going to need to embrace that idea of bum traffic. The, broadca the broadcast traffic, the unknown unicast traffic, and the multicast traffic is just going to be what we're going to implement. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to actually handle this with something called ingress replication. We're also going to have another construct that we're going to make reference to in this series of our conversations, and that's going to be the idea of what we're going to refer to as my host mobility features that we're going to be placing inside and using in our config. But it all starts with baby steps, and that's what we're going to do. In the next video, I'm going to discuss exactly what goes into creating the underlay control plane that we're going to be running everything else on top of. I'll see you guys in that video.